Star Citizen is very much in alpha and one of the major issues the game suffers from at the moment is low frame rates. You generally need lots of RAM, a strong CPU and unobtainable graphics cards to have a good experience in the game at the moment. Another major worry is that uh, some backers are concerned that the game is looking dated or going to look dated at release. The Gen 12 renderer aims to solve some of that. So what is the Gen 12 renderer? Star Citizen currently uses DirectX 11, which is getting relatively dated now. The Generation 12 rendering will replace the current DirectX 11 renderer with a new rendering system that will improve graphics quality and performance, as well as providing new effects, opportunities, and fidelity. This also has Clan Imperium integrating Vulkan as the graphics API as part of that renderer. Vulkan is a highly efficient, multi-threaded centric, and hardware neutral approach to a graphics engine's needs. In regards to Star Citizen, this should mean that the game does not actively prefer AMD versus Nvidia or any other GPUs, makes better use of more of your CPU cores, and uses system resources more efficiently. Does that mean that we're going to have higher frame rates when we get this then? Well, yes, it should mean higher frame rates across the board, at least once it's fully completed. But also, the game will be a lot more scalable. It's not just about frame rate here, that is not the only concern. You can expect a much more standard graphics options for Star Citizen as well, and for it to be optimized for a range of hardware setups. You want to play the game at 4K, 60 frames per second, sort of consistently and constantly? Well, you better have a strong piece of hardware, but that should be possible. You want to run 144 frames at 1080 and have that consistent? Well, as long as you've got the hardware, and that hardware should be performing a lot better as well now. now. I'm not talking about you buying new hardware because we've got future tech hardware. I'm talking about if you're using the same hardware that you've got today. If you're using 30 series graphics cards and um, reasonably good CPUs and that sort of stuff. Your current system that you've got now will be able to play Star Citizen in a much better fashion. At least that is the idea and the hope. Star Citizen is brutally under-optimized currently, but you're not going to need a supercomputer to play Star Citizen in the future, and if you can play it now relatively well, then it should be playing much better for you in the near future. I do want to point out as well, yes, other games have added Vulkan and only had a relatively low performance improvement, but typically most of these games um, have um, not just a focus on Vulkan, they have uh, DirectX 12 and Vulkan and, and stuff like that going on at the same time. Because of the nature of Star Citizen and a more focused overhaul on the new renderer and Vulkan, then this should see improvements being a lot more pronounced in my opinion. Basically, Star Citizen just hasn't finished off large sections of its core engine and its rendering stuff and a load of important pieces of its pie. It never really solved and resolved those with DirectX 11 because it was like, well, eventually we're going to have a new renderer anyway. So once they actually bring that online, there is a lot more focus on that and the more final product for it. Admittedly, some of that's a bit more of a I reckon um, rather than a confirmation, but take that as you will. I'm not saying that once we have the first implementation of the Gen 12 renderer that we're going to instantly be able to BAM have 4K, um, 60 frames a second, all that sort of stuff, no. But I am saying that that is the end goal. That is where Star Citizen is going and this is a giant step towards that. It isn't just for graphics options and better performance though, it's for allowing more resource allowance for Star Citizen so they can have more going on on the screen, or have prettier effects, a big fleet of ships fighting with less concessions and more wow factor. That is something they really want to focus on when they've got to a, a good sort of area where, yeah, we get 60 frames per second at, at this sort of res, now we want to fit more on the screen, more pretty wow, more boom. This is one of the major ways that Star Citizen hopes to look great at release. They are still building and optimizing its visuals at all levels, and even when their Gen 12 renderer is in game, they will continue trying to make Star Citizen look better and better and optimize that Gen 12 renderer more. Actually, that's probably true even after release. They'll probably still want to try and improve performance and visual quality, uh, but expect a bit less of a push um, after release. That, that sort of makes sense, right? So will Star Citizen get ray tracing? Well, it could, and Vulkan does support it, but the last word from Cloud Imperium is that they would support tech that is sensible and viable to do so. However, the last I heard from Cloud Imperium about it is that they didn't think they were going to adopt ray tracing as part of the star engine. At least that's the last thing I heard. It's possible they're still looking at it. They're always going to look at this new tech. That's just sensible, and they don't want to rule anything out. 
There are also a lot of other ways of doing global illumination and lighting effects and ray tracing is extremely resource intensive so it might not be a great idea and in my opinion ray tracing is more skewed towards GeForce cards and that's something that Clan Imperium want to sort of like they want to try and be hardware neutral where possible. Will we be getting big gains from the first implementation of the Gen 12 renderer then? Well some but it's not a silver bullet it's very important and once it's implemented it's going to get a lot more optimization and tweaks even within just the gen 12 renderer itself star citizen is an alpha game for a reason and things like optimized graphics card drivers aren't going to be out for a while either you know you get your geforce and amd optimized drivers for particular games and they fix some stuff well we don't really have that for Star Citizen at the moment. The Gen 12 renderer represents something that can be polished and optimized up to a gold standard rather than the current DirectX 11 stuff which is more bodged together to work while waiting for the new. Is it true that Cloud Imperium have been looking at the new Unreal 5 engine and might move engine? Well they're probably looking at it but are they going to use it? No. They, they've built their own Star Engine from CryEngine that moved to Lumbyard and it's very much its own beast. They seem very proud and focused on their star engine as well. So when might we see all this integrated into game then? Pretty soon actually it looks. Cloud Imperium are working on the Gen 12 renderer and Vulkan integration now and have been for a while. I in fact thought it was going to be in earlier this year but it's part of the core game engine and exceptionally important. Though we don't have any confirmed dates, work for the feature that's currently listed on Star Citizen's progress tracker concludes at the start of October 2021. So that's actually around three months away at time of recording and it's very possible that we could actually see it in game by the end of the year. And in the meantime, we should be getting more optimizations as well. We have seen lots of updates and tests of the new renderer from monthly reports and it's seen a lot of additions and improvements and is looking very promising. Originally Cloud Imperium have said that they were going to phase out a DirectX 11 with Vulkan and DirectX 11 um, uh, in at the same time and then over a few quarters they'd phase that out and just have Vulkan but it's sounding more and more likely that they just want Vulkan to take over entirely um, with its initial implementation but I suppose we will have to wait and see. Will this fix stability, memory leaks, and one-digit frame rates? Well, Cloud Imperium should be looking into things like that, especially memory leaks and solving terrible frame rates and crashes um, at the same time. But it's not necessarily directly related to the Gen 12 renderer to Vulkan or anything like that. Sometimes memory leaks or bugs just happen and you can expect them to be solved at some point and hopefully Star Citizen will be more stable and see less memory leaks and uh, higher frame rates with the Gen 12 renderer and Vulkan integration but sometimes they are not directly associated with each other. There is also still a huge amount of code overhaul, Cortex server meshing and a plethora of other things that Cloud Imperium needs to be um, and have a more optimized game. The Gen 12 renderer will help with that, but we still need a lot of other stuff to come together. One of the joys of the Gen 12 renderer is that Cloud Imperium are still working out how to use it and what new effects and all that jazz that they can get into it. Better shadows, better clouds, lighting particle effects, and more and more and more. Um, as much cool stuff as they can get on screen is the idea, but performance balanced with that is integral. I am really looking forward to this being implemented, but what about you? Do you think we will see Vulcan later this year? Do you think it's going to give us big performance boosts? Do you hope we will see um, some form of like DLSS or some other similar tech that allows us to have high resolutions with super high sort of frame rates? Do you think the servers need to be in a significantly better state and server meshing and server tech needs to be um, sort of working in a much higher level? Otherwise, you're going to see server degradation and other problems cause um, lower frame rates and things like that. Are you worried that Star Citizen is going to look dated upon its release? So actually, I want to say something here. Um, I'm OK if for some reason Star Citizen does not look the most cutting edge, super, 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 super new tech upon its release. It's the scale and the prettiness and the huge amount of other stuff that's going on with Star Citizen at the same time. I want a beautiful looking fleet battle. I want Star Citizen to be a MMO that looks amazing. Do I think there's going to be another MMO that looks as beautiful as Star Citizen at the scale of it? Well, not for many, 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 many more years after Star Citizen's released, in my opinion. But we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. But I'd love to know what you think, whatever your thoughts are. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below.
Oh, what's this? I just found all your search history online. You filthy boy buying spaceships and going on ship hub. Zin, show a picture of a, like a sexy ship or something. You should have used NordVPN. It's a VPN, obviously, and it has my seal of approval because I chill for them. Use the links below to get a discount and help protect your data, identity, privacy, and to help with online accessibility. Every month we have a ship giveaway and June is no different. We are giving away a Mercury Star Runner to one lucky viewer that comments on one of my videos made during June on the YouTubes. Just get involved in the comment section, ask a question or tell me what you think about the video or the subject we were discussing. Thank you so much to my channel members who have pressed the join button below my videos and my Patreons as well. Going the extra mile really, really helps the channel. Say thanks for helping the channel, Zin. Thanks for helping the channel, Zin. Consider becoming a channel member or Patreon as well, and maybe you'll get some poorly photoshopped naughty spaceship shots. Oh, saucy. Thanks for watching and all your support.